Look here, folks. One of the many ways of getting your money up and not your funny up in life is by getting properties and stuff like that. Well, we have this beautiful manor here. We just built that city not too long ago. But the thing is, we need more property. And Aaliyah has one in mind. But there's just one problem. Something strange is going on in that area. Something real weird is going on. But property is property. And what's a mission to the person who's killed Murak? <laughs> Yo, make sure you hit that subscribe button, that like button, that notification bell, share with your people, join Legendary Clan, support you to become legendary. Help your boy get to a thousand. Let's go find that property. And who is the original owner? Alright, so we have to make our way to Helgen because apparently the person who owned this home uh, has gotten in a scaly situation. I'm not sure what that means, but there's only one way to find out. You gotta go get this property. Also, hold up real quick. I know y'all noticed Aaliyah's new hairstyle, man. The dreads was getting too long. You know, she had a chopping. You know, once dreads get too long, they become real heavy. And it starts damaging your hair. So, we had to chop her dreads down. Now, she got this cool little curly hairstyle. And, uh, you know, other than that, she's still swaggy as usual. But look, we gotta head out to Helgen. Alright, wherever this guy is, we gotta find him. Apparently, he's somewhere hiding around in Helgen. Something strange happened to him. And that's what we're here to find out real quick. Hopefully we can get our hands on that home. Alrighty folks, here we are, right in front of Helgen. It's time to figure out what the fuck happened. The doors is closed, so there's probably some bandits chilling here again. Busters always try to take this spot for their own, but maybe I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. Dude, that boy crispy. Come on, check this out. Boop, boop, boop. Ah! Oh yes, he already knew it. Hey ma'am, pull the fucking sword out. Ooh. 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 Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ain't no way that big old sword is fitting through the bottom of his jaw. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm not 100% sure what we're looking for. You know, after all, whoever has the key knows what they could be hiding out and what they could be doing. We gotta find them. It's the only way we can collect this home. I heard it has a lot of good amenities. It's a it's a spot for a workhorse type of spot, really. I think he's just gonna be casting, huh? <laughs> he thought he was just gonna be casting freely. Uh-uh. This ain't Warcraft. This ain't PvP where people just be letting healers cast freely. Yes, I'm I'm speaking from experience. Uh, yesterday's BG was horrible. Alliance had all the fucking healers, and one nobody killing them. You feel me? Hordy was just letting them do their thing. <laughs> but enough about a different universe. Alright, we're here in the Skyrim universe, and right now I'm trying to figure out how to get over this. I see a little bit of loot in here. Could definitely use that. A bit of gold. Uh, Alright, nothing in here. You know, sometimes as a treasurer, this is how you gotta get your uh, this is how you gotta get your money. Sometimes you know, you find it sitting around. Hey, this is where we almost got our fucking head chopped off, eh? Look at that. Almost got our head lobbed off there, man. There's a note in here, folks. There was a key on the outside, and now there's a note right here. A scribbled note. Let's see what it says. Chopping for the Helgen list trip. Mead with juniper berries, milk, green apples, iron ingots, and a hammer. So this person was on a simple shopping trip before something bad happened. But it wasn't anything bad. The scaly situation was this person was shopping just as the dragon attacked. And they got killed in the attack. So that's unfortunate. We have the key now, so let's go check out the crib, man. Alrighty folks, now that we have the key, it's time to check the crib out. Although I'm not gonna lie, I do know what it looks like slightly on the inside. Because there's mannequins in there, y'all know what them dang busted mannequins I had to download. I had to cover them all up, so. But other than that, I didn't really see much. I just kind of walked through, glanced through, and saw the mannequins, took care of them, and now we're back outside. So, it's time to check out the new crib, man. It's a cool little cozy spot, you know what I'm saying? Nothing too crazy, nothing too wild. It's a workhorse spot, according to the creator of the mod. Man, hold up. 
So you just gonna watch this much of the video, and you, you not even gonna subscribe? Nah, don't wave to them. They ain't even hit the subscribe button. Come on now, hit that subscribe button. I'm already kind of seeing what uh, she was talking about. We got some uh, some fertile soil. I, I don't know why I said soil so weird. We have some fertile soil. That means you can put some plants in there. So a cool place you can plant. You can pick up all of these. There's little bees flying around. I'm pretty sure you can pick up the bees. I mean, got a grindstone, workbench. Oh yeah, this is indeed a linen and leathers, smithing gear. Also, she got a fucking whole list. Hey, look, get out the way, little man. She got it uh, set up to where you could pretty much perfectly separate all your stuff to where you might need it to be. Smelter, anvil, ingots, uh, the fucking the bee joint. We'll just call it a home. There's a lot of dang bees out here. These some big fucking bees. <laughs> I don't think I ever paid attention to the sheer size of these dang bees. Uh, a little wood chopping spot here with a free axe. Mm, keep it nice and warm in your crib. What's back here? Uh, the dang outhouse. It is indeed an outhouse. It opens up. Well, there you go, folks. Your character can use the fucking bathroom. We got some waters back here, too. Mm-hmm. You pretty much got waterfront property. <laughs> more like riverfront. Is this even a river or is this more like a canal? I feel like this is more like a canal. A man-made canal for rinsing out the filth of white run. So I, I would... I would think it's probably not a good idea to get in there. I don't know. Where does this lead? Okay, never mind. It's an actual river. Well, shoot, actually, I don't know. What is that? Because that's not coming from this. That's not coming from the lake down to here. That's coming from yeah. That's that's the don't don't get in this water. All right. Get a mouthful of fucking boo boo doo. The apiary. However the heck you say that. <laughs> I don't know what the word. I don't know that word. Look, it's going on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Now. In here, it's, it's real nice. Like I said, I ain't look too deep. But I, when I walked in, I noticed that there was mannequins. So I had to back out and re-record because the mannequins are ridiculous. So I had to fix them up. But it is pretty in here. Which is exactly... I mean, I knew it was going to be pretty because I saw the pictures that was on the mod. But I'm like, nah, this going to have to be more than a mod showcase. Because y'all know me, I don't really like uploading just basic mod showcase videos. So I'm like, you know what? Let's do a mod showcase and a photo session. And so you can store all your food in here. Let's lighten it up just a little bit. You really see everything at quick glance real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's nice in here, son. Uh, the mannequins I was talking about is... There's two of them up there. And then there's a bunch in the basement. So I had to put some gear on them. You can't really see them because I put gear on them. You can kind of see it. But, uh, back to its regular graphics, I mean, look how fucking gorgeous it is in here, dude. It's absolutely beautiful. Alright, it's real fancy in here. Uh, look, folks. It's absolutely astounding. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm honestly glad that someone not too long ago suggested that I should do house showcases. Because there's a lot of home mods that I don't ever see. Because I don't really pay attention to home mods. And ever since I have now, I get to see some absolute heat I wouldn't have seen before. There's the bedroom. So you can keep your armors and shields in there and stuff. You hear me? And we got the, the actual bed. I don't know why I said actual bed. I said bedroom, so where else would the bed be? <laughs> you know what I mean? Weapon racks and stuff. You can keep all your weapons. Little, uh little fireplace spot which we definitely gonna be using and have her facing out this direction perfect it'll be perfect man i did uh we got two outfits so we're gonna be she's gonna be rocking the outfit she's rocking now and i got one other one Ooh, a little sweater you know what i mean this credits here the creator of the mod a little food spots Alchemy table, as we just saw, but I didn't talk about it because I completely forgot. Um, I was trying to make it realistic. 
No shoes in the house, you know. Well, actually, no shoes on the dang rug, more like it. That's how we do in our house, at least. <laughs> I don't know about everybody else. I just don't. You don't be tracking no dang dirt into your crib, you feel me? What the heck? Those are the colors on them. Are pretty. You feel me? We got the disenchanting font. Some books, some knowledge, little strong boxes. I mean, it's a, it's a cozy little spot. And because it's so small, the file is small. And because the file is small, that means I can actually keep it downloaded. And it won't be uh, causing too many issues on my game. Unlike the castle. The castle was massive. A big file. It caused a little bit of lag. So I was like, really keep this one around. Food, dishes, silverware right here. Some actual silverware, not them big fat frickin' iron forks. With two with two forks. I mean even forks, dude. Backyard stuff. Now let's go ahead upstairs. Be a little tall to get uh, hard to get through here because you're kinda tall, you know what I'm saying? Red guard height. Alright, and boom. There's the mannequins. Got Daedric. There's uh oops. Just glowing nicely. Can't really see the dragon bone. You know what I'm saying? It's beautiful. It's cozy. It's neat. I could put some books here. You know what I'm saying? I put some stuff downstairs too once we get to the cellar. Real, it's real freaking cozy in here, dude. You know what I mean? Shrine of Azura. Cool little chairs and stuff. Let's go ahead into the cellar real quick. We just gonna have to jump because she's too tall. She's gonna hit her head. <laughs> I would imagine it's going to be pretty hard for someone to walk their sun elf through here. Or anybody over the six foot range. Like Nords and Talda. Uh, now the cellar has all the armor racks. As you see. Uh, every every single freaking one of them is laced up. We got Dwarven. We got Ebony. We got Elven. We got Falmer. Uh, glass and iron. This is the first set we've ever seen, dude. When they first announced it, and you heard that Foos roll dial on TV, you were like, "Oh my goodness! Finally, another Elder Scrolls." This is what he was wearing, dude. If I had to put that in there, you know what I'm saying? Then the farmer just looked crazy. Oh yeah, here goes my scrolls. Feel me? This is all the scrolls we've taken here on Aaliyah Dawnguard. You feel me? Every scroll. Blood, sun, and dragon. And then over here is her collection of black books. We're missing two though. Filament and filigree. And winds of change. Untold legends. We got all them other joints though. And uh, oh yeah, the golden claw collection, which I only have one. <laughs> the thing I love about Skyrim, I've been playing this game forever and there's still a lot of stuff I have yet to do. Let's go ahead and go back upstairs and uh, let's do some photos. All right, so first off, we need her posing up in front and outside of the house because this will be the thumbnail. So I'm gonna put her about angle of the crib. Okay, so I'm gonna say here. So the house has a dominant location so that she can be seen off to the side. We need the house to be mostly dominant. All right, and then of course, about in my usual Oh no, we can't see the crib, so give that 80. Lower. In order to really see the house. And boom, look at that. Now we need proper coloring. It means we need it to be brighter. Right. Pull that up. A little too much color. Say about one time. Let's draw that back a little bit. And now we have to get a good pose for her. But we can't really show it here because these poses were made on <laughs> were made on that website so well I mean no not the first couple the first couple we should be good but just in case we don't want to have her off to the side here you gotta be careful with these this is Skyrim modding so you gotta be careful you know look it's already starting all right we're gonna be back <laughs> all right boom I'll be forgetting we're playing Skyrim you know not Warcraft Skyrim you're guaranteed to find something uh ridiculous unfortunately when you want good pose packs you gotta pull up to freaking lover's lab everything else is too small this joint has four no 
Yeah, four thousand poses. Dude, four thousand. You you dang near, but when you get it, you dang near don't ever need anything else. But when you get it, dang near a lot. <laughs> so many poses in these dang pose packs are a little crazy. I mean, and boom. That should be a good thumbnail right there. Let's go out and far. Get a little bit of tilt going. Can we... I want to hide the background of everything behind the house, preferably. A little bit. Okay, the house might be too far away. Let's zoom that in a tiny bit then. There we go. Should be able to pull it. Struggling a little bit. Let me see. Yeah. I was like, I need to stop flickering though. There we go. Perfect. Well, the house is in view. Oh, shoot. I thought I took a picture. I just turned off the hood. That's all. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, let's see if we can get closer to her, but still have the house view. Pull that back at all. There we go. A so 700 over to this side and boom that my good friends is oops that my good friends is the thumbnail and of course to get one solely of her to pause that time but she is rocking the new fit about where she looked. out there her new crib dude the new crib dude i keep pushing x i'm thinking of freaking cyberpunk x hides the dang hood why would i be thinking of cyberpunk though i just realized that i do not do i don't use controller when i'm taking photos on cyberpunk I don't use controller at all, as a matter of fact. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, so I don't even know why I said that. I do not use controller on Cyberpunk, man. Uh, if I can, I would like her to be sitting and chilling on this piece of wood here. But I don't know if there are any proper sitting poses, so we shall see. Get back into photo mode. I wish they, uh, that'd be sick if uh, whoever made this mod made it where you could have you can save presets for your photos. That way you can uh, instantly fill it in when you get on. I have to reload everything. I like how they do on Cyberpunk. It's quite amazing. All right, let's see. All right, I haven't found the uh, sitting joints, but uh, we're gonna skip ahead because these are all the, the other the older joints. Um, let me see here. These, these should be normal. If I'm not mistaken. Open. Oh, you see that wolf back there? He's sitting real stiff, ain't he? Oh, no, no, I see him move. Tail is moving. I was like, why he's so dang stiff? Alright, I don't know why I got distracted by the little wolf, but look. Let's go ahead back that time up a little bit. Let's go ahead and steer her this direction. And pause find time. Little wolf, little wolf. The frick you doing? That's how I go, right? I like to make sure it's facing the proper direction. Her shoulder look a little crazy, but all in all, not too bad. Uh, what is the... Is that her hand? Is that coming from her hand? The lighting? On her cheek, that's coming from her hand. This over... Okay, yeah, it's her hand. Or colors over there anyway. Actually, let's not have her look at the camera. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Although it does exaggerate the jankiness that's going on with her. Uh... Oh, that one. <laughs> her dang leg. You can't even. See. Well, actually, you can't even see it. It's simple to just simply move her to the side. 
We all good. Oop. There we go. Simply move her to the side and fix the crack. Sometimes this dang field of death don't want to cooperate, baby. Or is it working on her shoulder, but not upper Fusion. This would be a lot easier. I don't know what happened. I need the depth of field, but it ain't doing its job right now. Look. I got it on, right? Why the fuck it ain't doing nothing? Oh, my nose is itching like crazy for some reason. It works only when I go like a mile away in odd spots. It stops altogether. I'm having some sort of glitch. And disappointing. Because I don't like taking pictures too far out. Still it disappears any dang ways. I like the closer. 51 is what I do. Somewhat similar to... Okay, there we go. Somewhat similar to how I do it on Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk. -y. Boom. Similar to Cyberpunk, which I do... 20? No, 30 on Cyberpunk. No, 20. Yeah, 20. It was somewhat similar to that. 20 field of view is way too close on Cyberpunk, so I don't do it. Uh, on, uh, or, yeah, on. Look, I'm struggling to speak right now. 20 on Cyberpunk is perfect. On Skyrim, it's way too close. Everything become you, you dang near can't see. That's what I was trying to say when I started fucking stuttering like crazy for some dang reason. Stuttering Stanley over here. But yeah, these are all the simple standing poses. The character ain't doing nothing absurd. Go ahead and unpause time. Have her showing off the pearly whites. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Absolutely adorable character. About. You know what I'm saying? In front of the new little house, let's move her into the blacksmithing area. Hopefully these little bees won't be pushing her around while in photo mode. I'm sure they will, but hopefully they won't too much. Oh no, do I want her... Yeah, let's have it face in the house. Oh shoot, I didn't have it back out. Have it face in the house. What is that? What's happening? Oh, it's the outhouse. Oh. Is that, a is that? Is that the outhouse? Can't be the outhouse. Not even here. I don't know what that shadow is. Oh, that's that. Big fucking block of wood right there. I want her facing somewhat toward the house. We don't go about here. That should be good. Bit more of the house behind her. That gargantuan bee too, apparently. He trying to be in the shots, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't me trying to make a pun. That was me almost stuttering. It made the bee way longer than it should have been. Which then made it sound like I was trying to make a joke out of the bee. <laughs> it wasn't the case, I promise. I wasn't trying to make a terrible dad joke. back down to the 1500s which we were right on the cusp of the 16s okay, that one though apparently oh to the shadow of that column move and blow so you gotta have all the nice fancy colors oh see now it won't work or working on one side kind of sort of. That's fine. And boom. You know what I'm saying? Fancy crib. Fancy character. Fancy little fit. You know what I mean? Further back. Oh shoot. Her hands are clipping. I didn't notice that. I'm going to have to delete that one. I did not notice the clipping of the hands. 
Oh, see, we're getting into the crazy stuff. What was that? Uh, actually, let's go to that. Oh. Simple little pose. Nothing too crazy. Move her over a little bit. Ain't hitting nothing. Oh. There we go. Uh, dog, all this dude do is play Overwatch now. <laughs> Somebody on my Steam list. I ain't never seen that man on Overwatch. Not once. I seen him log in one time. He ain't he ain't stopped since. <laughs> I think that man done fell in love with Overwatch. It really do be fun pretty uh sometimes. I don't play against public I don't play in public matches though, because you know I don't really mess with FPS games like that no more. And the only time I do play FPS games is when I'm fighting against bots, but it's still good fun because they got the you could practice against AI on Overwatch, and that's what I do. I goof around with that a lot. Good fun. Good, simplistic fun. You ain't got to worry about no Zins, no Adderalls, no nothing. It's crazy, man. I never in a million years thought people would have been popping the Addies just to be good at the games, but, you know, I guess everybody named Mama trying to be Twitch streamers and stuff nowadays, so I guess you would have to, huh? Oh, I don't know if I'd be willing to uh, do such a thing. Then again, I don't play FPS games, so I guess I don't have to worry about that now, do I? <laughs> I uh, avoid thine FPS games, as they are just simply not my style anymore. Oh, gotta be careful doing that, because it's uh, Skyrim and we are not in safety mode. Well, I had to, that's why I had to dress up the dang, dang mannequins. I sure enough was about to mess up. When I walked into that dang house and saw them half-naked mannequins, I'm like, oh shoot, that ain't gonna work. Immediately scrapped the recording, because <laughs> that's all you saw. I'm like, alright, gonna have to put some gear on these fools. That's what I was saying earlier, I didn't see too much of the house. But I, I had to do something. I knew it, look at him. He just pushed her right the fuck out the way. Like, excuse, excuse me, man. I don't know if that would be an excuse me, considering he just bumped her. But, don't know if they get out the way. I got places to be. I'm a busy bee, baby. You all up in my way. I wish this dang catch bee would go away, but it's probably not. Back up a little. Right there. Or she's staring directly at the camera. And actually, let's, let's, let's switch, switch the other way. Blah. Alrighty. No, actually, I'm going to switch her outfit when we get in the crib. Right now, it's all about the outside of the crib. Right now, it's all about the outside. Matter of fact, speaking of the outside, we have not done an outside photo quite a little while. So back it up. You know what I'm saying. No. And then well, that should be good. I actually know a little bit more. I actually know. Uh Nah, yeah. No spin. No spin is good. On a bit. Actually, no. I kind of I want to see the top of the house or the fully the full of the house, but I still want her to be in the photo as well. And now I think I, I think good. There we go. Oh. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now back to her. And right at the tip, top of the head or hair. Her head ain't that dang tall. <laughs> that head tall as a fairy boy. And boom. Go ahead and reduce the smile just a little bit because she ain't got to be shining the pearly whites a hundred. God, dog it! Why the fuck? It's, it's only 93 right now? 
Holy. It was just 108 not too long a frickin' go. Wow, it's 93. I know I'm supposed to be recording, but frick, some fresh air wouldn't be it wouldn't be too bad right now. It's 93. You know it's been bad when someone is excited to hear that it, uh, see that it's 93. You gotta understand, like I said, it, it, God, no, oh, this summer was hot as fuck. 115, 116, 113, 114. <laughs> you don't get used to it either because humans, we are too comfortable. You know what I mean, you be in the air conditioner all day. So when you gotta go back outside, it's like, ew. You've been living in the one of the hottest deserts your entire life and you're still not used to it. Humans, you know, we live too comfortably. Simple as that. I ain't complaining, of course. I love it. I would much rather be in the house under some air conditioner than, uh, you know, being a frickin' bobcat trying not to die to a bigger bobcat. Or a coyote trying not to die to a bobcat. Or a snake trying not to die to a bunch of coyotes. You know, I would, I would, I would much rather <laughs> be in a beautiful air conditioner. Nature is so beautiful while a frickin' snake is getting his throat ripped out by a bunch of coyotes. So beautiful. Cooling on that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm cooling on all that, you hear me? I like the air conditioner and stuff like that. It feels great. When it's 116 out and you have to find water to drink and stuff like that. I'm cooling off all that, bro. Or as I always say, I'm cooling on that, bro. Boom. Oh. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Alright, let's switch up the swag real quick. I don't know if this pose pack has any uh, joints where it make it look like she like working on stuff. Let's see. Alright, because uh, there's a ton of poses in here, so I'm going to be scrolling for a while, so I should be back. It don't really look like she's working on anything, but it is a great pose, so we're going to use it real quick. <laughs> Turn her toward looking at the fire. You know, looking at the flames. Down some. Boom. Alright, and that looks good. Alright, let's... Uh, most of these look pretty normal, so I think we'll be safe to go through these. I said most of these look pretty normal, and that one, uh, something looked a little off there. I was the only one that saw that, but something looked a little off about that one. <laughs> that, that, that one, not normal. Ah, shoot. Something was uh, off about that one pose. It was doing a move that didn't look right. I... Luckily, Anvil was kind of in the way. This is why this is why I don't show this is why I don't show me scrolling through because some of these poses, like I said, is a little crazy. Anything you almost yo this fucking B man, why you over here now, son? You was over there, son. Why you here now? <laughs> Just be sliding her out the way and crap. What the fuck you over here now, boy? What's wrong with you? Uh, that is a fancy pose right there. Now, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna have to use that right quick. I mean, showing off, yeah, you know I mean, she's showing off just a little bit. <laughs> Fucking bees, man. Hey, only in, well, I can't say only in this game. A lot of games do that. Your character has no freaking weight. A bee just pushed this whole human out the freaking weight. All right. Only in Skyrim can you be moved around by a bee. A dragon slayer getting pushed out the way by a bee? That's crazy. Man. All right, these look like they're going up, though. It went from normal standing poses to whatever that one weird pose was, and now, now she's showing off the booty a little bit. Might have to uh, go ahead and scroll up. What is that? She's just regularly sitting down? Okay, she is indeed just regularly sitting down. The problem is, uh, I don't think sitting down out here. Oh no, she's not regular. Her. You know what they need to add? Something that allows you to lift the character up. The problem is, I don't think that's something you can do in Skyrim in comparison to Fallout. It's Fallout's photo mode before it disappeared. Uh, of course, these are mods, but Fallout's folder, uh, fo photo mode mod allowed you to lift the character up off the ground. The problem with Cyberpunk, uh, Skyrim is, I don't think you can do that. You can do that in Cyberpunk. I don't know why I said Cyberpunk. It does work in Cyberpunk. 
but in in Skyrim you can't exactly lift characters off the ground without them going right back down to the ground so let's let's get the, the pearly whites showing again I'll wait for her to look back up at the camera. Boom. Oh. And blah. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Yeah, it, uh, you can't exactly do that in the game. But the, uh, unfortunately, I don't think that's something that would become something in this. Unless the person who made it could figure it out. That'd be sick. That'd be amazing. That'd be great. I feel like one of these days I should uh, show people this mod. I've never actually done a... Get out the way, little man. Freaking little bee flying around, dude. <laughs> you know what? Come here, man. Where, where you at, dude? Look at this little fool, man. This is what's pushing her out the way, right? Work out the way, little homie. I'm busy doing virtual photography with uh, Aaliyah Dawnguard. Aaliyah the Sword Lord. I like the Blade Lord, which is why I need to... Uh, I need to get her in some two-hand action, some two-hand blade action. I feel like it would fit her very well, considering I called her the Blade Lord. She, it, it would only make sense if she used two hands as well as dual wielding. You know what I'm saying? At least that's 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 how I'm getting it. Since I did call her the Blade Lord. Uh, I don't know what this pose is supposed to be. Like, check out my shoes. But promise, she ain't wearing shoes. That's not gonna work. Uh, ah, that one's cool. Okay, so these are mostly no poses. So. Did I just backtrack on accident? I did. Uh, that'll work. Right about here, so we can see more of the house, anyways. You know I don't know how much I would want a forge around this much wood, you know? Just asking for a disaster. Let me. Oh, take this is a screenshot. Then again, you know, this is that is the beauty of games. Things that would be horrible in real life matter in the game. Uh, how about this pose? <laughs> I don't know about this pose. This, this, those shorts have uh, clipping issues. I, mean, I had that problem in a a video I had made on my shorts channel showing off all the lower friendly guns. And I had to change the character's outfit because uh, she was sitting on the ground and I went to show off one of the guns. I look up and I'm like, oh, wow, okay. Her freaking... Our lady parts were just out and about. And I'm like, alright, well that's definitely not going to work. If I had to put her in some freaking raggedy freaking iron armor. I had the swaggy guns with the swaggy character and some very basic uh, iron armor. You know what I'm saying? Some very basic iron armor. Alright, I think we should maybe switch it up. Go indoors. Simple pose. Simple pose. If I could get back. I'm gonna say if I could get back, we'll figure it out. You know, Brooklyn. <laughs> About there. And actually, let's keep this. Keep her. They. It's the house. Right there. Boom. Now, let us go inside. Alright, outfit has been changed. Something just a little bit more saucy, but also cozy at the same time. But we're not worried about her yet. Let's get her out of here. I kind of want to just do a set of photos of the house. Because it is fancy in here. The problem is, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. You know? Or you know what? You can be chilling. I mean, it's her, it's, you know, I mean, it's her crib. Let's pause it though, because I, I like the, the morning light more than the night light. 
Oh, let's just have her kind of like chilling in her house. Actually, well, cool. The character never just starts off smiling. Anytime you you watch a video of mine and she's smiling, that's because I made her smile. Skyrim characters are very uh, stoic-faced people. To be fair, they might have a reason. I mean, look where the fuck they live in. <laughs> look how most of them is living. If we had to judge it, judge it based off of real life uh, things, a lot of them probably wouldn't be living very good. Medieval times, people was not living like that. You know what I mean? These are definitely a, this is definitely a form of medieval times. But they, you already know they ain't living. Oh, that, ew, that big nasty toe! I was looking at the fucking green things. I ain't see that big nasty toe. Fucking giant's toe, man. Oh, dude. Just chilling in her crib. Right, but I like this spot right here. This is why we switched up the outfit to be just a bit more saucy. It's a very cool, cozy little home. You know what I mean? And she gonna be doing her little modeling thing. Uh, the boots are a little large. I don't know how well, how long the boots gonna last, but we'll get some three colors back here. have her chilling in the chair kind of, actually no because it looks awkward they, the way they sit in the chair is kind of awkward they just kind of be like they just kind of sit there looking at nothing <laughs> have her facing the fire and then we'll go to the up re the upper region of the home and sitting far back here we gotta check the lighting real quick and get her a good pose that dip the field up, lighten up, uh, make it a little less gray. It's very gray. Oh, that way, you see it, but you don't see too much. I mean, you clearly can see the shape of her, but you can't see too much. It's more of a silhouette than full body. You know what I mean? That's the whole point. What the fuck? Smile going. Pearly whites, even though you can't see your face yet. But <laughs> when we get there, I won't have to set it up. And think of a pose once we're done. Oh, wait, actually, we kind of need one. Oh, so, right back, folks. Alrighty, and after 10 years of scrolling, we are back. <laughs> I can't show those parts because we're literally sitting there scrolling for a solid two minutes. It'd be a massive waste of time and I would not know what to talk about while just sitting there scrolling for two minutes straight because there's that many dang poses in this pack. Oh, that's photo number one. Upstairs, I want to get a down view like this. Right. And curve that to fit. Perfect. That actually is exactly what I want it to look like. I'll do one on that side to see her. Right after we get the room that we are in now, definitely be bringing her up here. It's a fancy bookcase. The lighting is perfect. Actually, let's get the armor. Let's back out a bit. Get everything up here. And I would say right at all this lamp right about in the middle. Oh, beautiful. Then we go to this side and we should be able to see her. Yeah, perfect. There we go. And we we'll zoom out a bit. So we... Right here. And blur her a little bit. Blah. It's all about the positioning, the angles, the idea, the 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 execution. You know what I'm saying? Back to her. Did I do that already? Am I messing up? I don't have it open. I'm dumb. I, I normally keep the photos open to make sure the photo came out properly. Okay, I didn't. I did not. I thought I did. Get that out the way. Let's go ahead and put that to normal view. Back here. Far back. And bring. 
kind of wanted to mostly focus on her, but I don't think that because of the angle in which we're at. That's fine, it still looks very good. And boom. Poses. So that's fancy right there. That's a little fancy. Three. Get a little closer. Okay. <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me see. Not her knees. That's not gonna work. Her knees is their her knees are collapsing into each other. And let's see. Let's get her facing direction. Get just a little closer. Oh, the camera. Down. Oh, you know what I'm saying? It's all about. Yep, the field fell off again. Alright, whatever. It's good. It's good. It's clean. She looks great. That's all that matters. Since the depth of field doesn't want to work in. I mean, it's, it is kind of small in here. We'd have to be at a much further distance. It is a very small home, is the whole point. For it to be extra cozy. And let's see. Over there. Pull a little fit. Out there. Oh, I did. I do really wish the depth of field was working, but we are. Uh, home is extremely small. Feels like it's real choosy though. Sometimes, sometimes it want to work. Sometimes it don't. I didn't have this problem not too long ago. It kind of just recently popped up. I would say I like the pose, but her little toes got to get out the way. YouTube will hit us. Keep them light. I'll probably do a few off scene, but for the most part, once you see on scene, you have to stay light. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and change her direction to facing forward because the depth of field will work if it's further behind her. So why not have her face in the fire? Get better lighting like that too. And so I'm back a little bit because I don't want them to all be facing the fire. Gotta have different directions. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have even uh, started the recording because I forgot we have to scroll all the way back to where we were, which was 900, uh, 1900 and something. So, we'll be back. <laughs> all right. I think we were somewhere around here. I do not 100% remember. Uh, 60 something, was it? Uh, 65, right? 1965. I ain't talking about the year. Although a lot of great cars came out in 65. They got to do with anything, but, you know. Y'all know, hey, know me, I love cars. <laughs> the only reason I don't upload very many car game videos over here is because, uh... Entertainment-wise, for solo, I think car games are some of the best. There's nothing more fun... Then building a, a fucking sick as fuck car, drifting, drag racing with your peoples or random people on the server. Let's say it's like Forza or something, or Car X, Drift, uh, Car Drift X, or whatever the fuck it's called. You know what I mean? Good fun. But in terms of like watching, I personally have never found car gaming videos to be all that interesting. But then it, I, I get, it might be because I'm more interested in seeing them in real life versus in a video game. Unless I'm playing like Forza where I'm just goofing around. But when it comes to like car games, yeah, that's why you don't really see me uh, uploaded much. I haven't, or not much, but it's been a year or two since I've last uploaded a car video of any sort. I think it was Beam and G or Forza. I don't remember which one. But it, it, or no, it hasn't been like, a, it hasn't been a year. It's been a long time though. It's been a little while. But... Yeah, that's that. That's the reason. I I don't find them as entertaining to watch as it is to play. You're playing a, a car game. It is way these rank, random hiccups, man. When you're playing a car game, it's way more fun than when you're watching a car game. 
Because it feels like a, a, a watching a card game feels like I could easily do that myself. So why watch it versus like now, right? Maybe where you're, or let's say it's like Call of Duty or like what we're doing now. If this isn't your character or your might, maybe you're not the best at photography yet. Maybe you might want to see me do photography photos. Maybe you might might want to see me uh, do certain things in game that you haven't done yet. You want to see somebody else do. You know, what I mean, whoever your favorite YouTuber may be, they might play something that you wouldn't play. As where when it comes to like car games, it kind of feels like uh, something you could easily do yourself. Unless you yourself don't like to play car games, then maybe maybe there's something like that. I don't know, that could just be me though. That could just be me. me personally, I've never found car games entertaining to watch versus to play. So that's why you, you don't really see no Forza from your boy. Pulls from earlier? I already used this. I already used that. You know I'm saying that, that could just be me though, you know. I fucking love Forza. I've been playing Forza since like Forza Horizon 3 and before that I was playing, or not Horizon, Forza Motorsports 3 and before that I was playing Gran Turismo when I was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love racing games. I have fucking hours on racing games. GTA, that's dang near the, one of the only things I ever did. Uh, this is, it's real dangerous to be low when we don't know what the next couple of poses are. This is a, uh, okay. So this ain't a safe position to be in <laughs> when we have no clue. Oh man, that sweater is stretching out, stretching out hard. Oh, this is the old sweater. Hold on, we're gonna be right back. I forgot I had some newer turtlenecks that looked way better and didn't stretch like this. These are great, but as you can see, uh, major stretching issues. Okay, this this sweater it looks more like a night on the town type sweater. That's where the other one looked more, I guess, of an in-home type of thing. Though I would guess that most people would probably wear a regular sweater. <laughs> I don't know nobody who's walking around the house wearing crop sweaters. Never heard of that. Never seen it. So I guess we don't got too much choices. But this one doesn't stretch. So I like this. Doesn't look bad though. Uh, but the other one for what we're doing a little better. At least in term. That's what people in the world of Skyrim. Uh, modded Skyrim would do. I, I highly doubt it. Anybody walking around the house wearing crop sweaters doesn't make much sense it's like walking around the house you know fully dressed wearing jeans sneakers and everything but the whole the only thing you're doing is sitting on the couch the whole time now there are people who do that i personally do not understand it <laughs> if i'm sitting in my house chilling i'm not about to put on none of my good clothes to just sit around the house you know that could just be me though you know what i mean I, I don't see the purpose of wasting good clothes to sit around the house in. Like wearing your best to go to Walmart. Uh, no. You're not doing that, you know what I mean? My best is for special occasion. Um, this one makes her look more cozy though, because it is more of a proper sweater. Although it's still kind of short, but it does look more cozy. It actually fits properly to what we're doing right now. Team, but this part is hard to pull off. Ooh, hold on, we over steering. Yeah, this feels weird as fuck. <laughs> All right, that ain't gonna work. The 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 the, the, the fucking controls start getting inverted. You gotta go the other way to look the other way. They ain't working, bro. Oh no, that's a about. I don't. That is a. Okay, that last pose scared me. I thought I had saw some. That was just her hand, but I'm gonna start being careful now because these poses are, uh, you know what I mean? I forgot, I forgot what we doing right now. I forgot what pose pack we using right now. Almost got caught slipping. Luckily that was indeed her hand. That's not a cover up, it, it was indeed her hand. I forgot what pose pack we used. Ooh, I'm get, I was getting too comfortable. Really choosing poses and crap. Like we not fucking using a pose pack from Lover's Lab, dude. <laughs> I ain't never had, I had never heard of that dang website until I was trying to get this pose pack because that joint said 4,000 poses. I'm like, oh shoot. It's like them old school little joystick video games where you never have to fucking got like 16 million old games in it. Little did I realize 
I was getting stuff from fucking the lab. And I ain't talking about the radio station on GTA. That yeah, dog. <laughs> Welcome to the lab. Uh, I, I was sadly mistaken, basically, is what I'm saying. I thought I was getting some normal stuff, but I wasn't. Wasn't normal at all, as a matter of fact. Full body joint. YouTube, we chilling, you feel me? Ain't nothing crazy, right? It's just simple virtual photography. <laughs> you really gotta be letting them know. Cozy house, a great looking character, and some, uh, we have to be careful poses, uh, what we're doing. The lighting in this dang place is perfect. If there's perfect, move. And then... Oh shoot, it wasn't in purpose. Thought it was. Thought it was. It's a good one. Simple. Great for Crazy. I, I ain't gonna lie, I put this hair on her just for a, a, a set of photos I wanted to do. But it looks great on her. And I'm probably gonna keep it on her. She was rocking the dreads for a mad long time. Like I had said earlier. Making the joke of acting like they were getting too long. So we, uh,. She chopped him, but it's actually a great hairstyle and it's quite it fits her quite well. So I'm probably gonna keep it for real. I'm probably gonna keep it on her. It's a safe item, probably not. I'll be right back. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, you know what I'm saying it's all about uh whatever the heck I was talking about. Jonah forgot. I was concentrated. <laughs> I have us to concentrate. It's Making the perfect photo. She looked away. Fine. Where am I at? I was concentrated on uh, what the heck was I talking? I'm gonna have to replay the old footage because I show enough. I don't remember what I'm talking about. Okay, we can't. Uh, far back. No, it's just kind of whack. Just kind of whack. Much better. Actually, on. Uh, not, let's not catch her directly from the background. Oops. Right here. And let's back this up. Better? Just like that. Unfreeze the edge. Oh, what the fuck? I needed the dang, I needed the depth of field, it didn't do it, but now it did it after I got off the joint. Oh, we gotta delete the other one. Hold on, hold on, we gotta delete the other one. I needed the depth of field. Perfect. Perfecto. It's all about the, oh, <laughs> see what I mean? You gotta be careful, man. Quirk. Gotta be careful, dude. One moment the pose is completely normal, next moment is something off the wall, son. It really be like that with these dang pose packs. Get from the fire a little bit. Or the background here. I feel like this would be the coziest and best spot for you and a partner to have a, a, like a little Christmas holiday. Y'all just go out. Just you two, you know what I mean? Doing y'all thing, just having a cool little holiday in the coziest little cabin known to mankind. Not in bear country because that's dumb. <laughs> Not in bear country, all right? Just in a regular spot somewhere. Oh shoot, actually that's an accidental uh, heater right there. I just took two on accident. Uh, let me delete the other one. <laughs> I mean, just a cool little cozy spot for you and your partner. Y'all just chilling, absolutely enjoying each other's time, the vibes on a good Christmas holiday. That's that's the one thing that Christmas is missing these days. People don't do Christmas for its original vibes, you know what I'm saying? Christmas was probably like the greatest holiday of all time back in the 40s. It, well, I don't know about the 40s, but back in the 50s, 60s, and 70s, 
because the appreciation for things was different. You know I mean, it was people would get up early in the morning and be like, "Oh yeah." Nowadays, I don't, I don't know what people be doing. I don't pay attention to that. But <laughs> what I'm saying is, back then, it probably the, the Christmas spirit probably felt so different than it does now. It ain't the same. You feel me? I would, I would say I, to go back in time so I can enjoy one old school Christmas. But considering I am a black man, I don't know if that would be possible to go back in the 50s. And, and you know what I mean? <laughs> that wasn't exactly a great time period for us. I'd have to go like probably like way, way, way back to some time period that I don't, I'm not sure of. What is this? Oh, this looks painful. Look comfortable. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that. One. Very odd. That's not gonna work. <laughs> That's not gonna work. There we go. I'm saying that the Christmas spirit, though, back in the day was pro actually this way. This way. It's probably like fucking otherworldly, dude. You probably wake up in the morning. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean, m my family, we do it a lot. We don't, we don't like just hand out gifts and be like, all right, everybody go to fuck home. Our our style is more of, we be having the fucking Christmas music blasting, eggnogs, we be making cookies and crap, man, it'd be a good dang time, dude. Good, wholesome fun. <laughs> that, that, that to me, I feel like, a, how many people do that? Still. I feel like not that many people do it, dude. I could be wrong. Like, I know every family. But, how much did they probably do that back then, though? And you hear it in the streets, all the way around, sign is something. I don't remember the rest of the words, and I'm trying to avoid copyright. It says something, something, I forgot the rest of the words. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if he sung that song like that, we wouldn't know of it. Oh my goodness, that is ugly. There's an atrocity to that song, especially since I forgot 80% of the lyrics, 99% of the lyrics, 100% of the lyrics. I think the only part I said right was let it snow. Oh yeah, and the weather, oh, the weather outside, that's the only part I got right. Oh dang, she ain't got a pillow or something to lean on. Well, I guess it's time. I guess we can switch it up now. What was that? Two thousand something? Go to the back. Oh, uh, actually, we could go here. Yeah, this is fancy, back. Or you know what? No, so we can, so we don't lose track. It's just that it's just that Christmas spirit, dude, is untouchable. That pose didn't work. Her hands was clipping too much. Too much clipping. Not enough. Uh, good quality. Christmas has always been my favorite time of the year, and it's not even because of the gifts, because you know I'm, I'm freaking 28, so I ain't gonna be, I don't get gifts like that. It's just when the, the the whole family is together enjoying themselves, you know. What I mean, that's what makes it magical. Be careful. That's what makes it magical. You know what I'm saying no complaint. Well, there was one person who used to complain all the time, but I mean, uh, it's like if you don't like the Christmas music, why you here then? We had to let them know, like, yo, everyone's enjoying themselves. If you are not, get the fuck on, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it wasn't that harsh, but it's like, come on, everybody having fun. I don't like Christmas. I don't like Christmas. What the fuck is going on with her? What's the name, bro? All right, we get it. Shut up, because the music ain't going to stop, baby. It's not going to stop. You hear me? It ain't going to stop. Back the fuck up. I'm trying to make her back up, but it ain't working. Working up. Uh, uh, there's a whole lot of these in, in this pack for no, no uh, uh, well, I said for no reason. Uh, there's a reason. You know, people are into what they're into. <laughs> Give him. I personally have never been the biggest fan. Though, I will 100% say I do understand because there are people who take great care of themselves, their whole body. Well, I can see what people see. I can't see the other half of it, though. The other half is strange. <laughs> the other half is a little strange. But, uh, ooh, shoot. 
like I said, I, I, I do always maximize my carries my character's beauty to their maximum. So let me go about here to the side. So even though I personally do not like uh uh I'm not the person I'm personally not the biggest fan of oh little toes. My characters will still have pretty toes. It ain't my thing, but I understand it. And uh, the Skyrim, the original Skyrim vanilla build was awful looking. It got freaking hogs for feet, and I'm like, that's that that's ugly. Admittedly, that is ugly. <laughs> Admittedly, that is pretty dang ugly. So I, I'm gonna change that up. So, as you know, the whole body is custom. The whole body is custom, including the the little dogs. <laughs> Loading the little dogs. She can't. She couldn't have. None of my characters could have those absolutely atrocious things they called uh, freaking feet in the normal vanilla build of the game. I mean, sometimes when you do a whole full body picture like this, obviously you won't be able to see them. What, what, I, what you would see, though, if they were still vanilla, is that they're all connected, meshed together, improper texture. I mean, to be fair, this is a 2011 title. <laughs> so you can't be too surprised. I like that how that's putting the depth of field behind her. That's kind of swaggy right there. I didn't even think about the offset joint. I see the problem I'm having here is that I'm sure that this what this is intended for because she's looking up. See, now she's looking down. So if I make the camera look... Why oh, she's not looking? I don't think she can look down. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Because so, her head is too far back. Okay, no. Oh, yeah, we good then. E -e -e -e, we good then. What angle is this? Oh, okay. I'm going to say, what, why does this look so far back? There we go. There we go. The other one? She was looking up, made the angle bad. Yeah, I personally, it is not my thing, but I do know what it looks like when someone takes care of themselves. So I had, I had to give, I had to give her the, I had to give my characters the custom uh, as well. Because that that crap was, like I said, immediately, admittedly, hideous, disgusting looking. It would ruin a photo by by ten folds, dude. By fucking ten folds, it would. I'm gonna have to do something. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something, bro. Yeah, I can't. I can't wait to the holidays, dude. I can't wait to the. Ho what is the next holiday up? Halloween? Nah, I don't give a crap about Halloween. I'm too old now. <laughs> Halloween don't mean nothing to me no more. You know I me? Mean? Back in the day when you was a kid, Halloween meant free candy. Uh, my voice, my stature. Like I said, I'm not the largest man in the world, but you, you, you can, you know a man when you see a man. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, one time I tried, I think I was like 23, I was exercising, uh, still exercising like crazy, actually I was exercising more, I was a little bigger, but I'm not, I'm not large by any means, right, um, so I thought maybe I could mask it, let me take my old freaking costume from when I was a teenager, which was a Grim Reaper costume, all black, super freaking deep black gown, I thought maybe no one would notice. I didn't say a word. I didn't open my mouth because my voice has always been this deep since I was like 13. This is not like some fake voice that I put on for my videos where I make it deeper than normal. No, this is my normal voice, right? So I'm thinking, all right, let me not say a dang word. I didn't. I ain't say nothing. As soon as the lady opened the door, she looked right at me. She looked up and down. <laughs> She looked up and down and she was like, you know, you know, dang well, you too old to be trick or treat. Now I just started, we just started dying laughing. Me, my brothers, uh, my little brothers and sisters and her, we was just dying laughing. She's like, you almost got me. You almost got me. But I, I had to take a second look because she shown up dead. She looked at me and then immediately looked up and down. She was like, now, you know, dang well, you too old. I'm like, how? Because <laughs> I am not a large person at all. So I thought maybe I would mesh. Nope. It was instant. It was practically instant. Looked at, looked at me, looked up and down immediately. He's like, you know, dang well, you too old. I'm like, I ain't even say nothing. 
I knew if I would have said something that that probably would have uh, been some red flags because my voice is deep as fuck. I remember I'd be on Xbox talking to people. One time I got in an argument with this dude. He's like, dude, you're like 30, you're like 40 years old. Why don't you go take care of your kids? I'm like, uh, I guarantee I'm younger than you. He was like, I doubt it. I said, I'm 16. He was like, oh, really? I'm like, yeah, your voice ain't got nothing to do with your age. That's just, oh, what the fuck? Come on, man, that's what I'm talking about. See, we, I, might, I might have to skip forward. I think we're into those, I think we're in those poses. We're in that zone. Luckily, we got out of there fast enough. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I am 16, dude. He was like, oh, I'm like, how old are you? And he was like, oh, I'm, 20, I'm 24. I'm like, yeah, oh now, son. And there was this other time I was talking to this kid. I was like, I think it was around, around the same time. I was about 15, 16, 17. He was like 11. We had met on Black Ops. And he was like, yo, you want to play some Black Ops? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me hop on some Black Ops. So he, we both were getting on Black Ops. And then one of my homeboys joined the party. He was like, yo, is that your kid? I'm like, huh? He was like, is that your kid? I ain't got no dang kids. <laughs> I'm 16. He was like, oh, I'm like, what the fuck? I ain't got no kids. He's like, no, we're just friends. We're from Black Ops. And he was like, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm like, if I have kids at 16, I'll be disappointed as fuck, boy. That crap had us dying laughing. Started uh, whooping people on Black Ops as we used to do back then. Crap had me dying. He was like, is that your kid? I'm like, this whole time you thought, how old did you think I was this whole time? He was like, I thought you had to be like 20 something. I'm like, oh no, not yet, not yet. Got four more years before I hit my first 20. Crap used to have me dying because people straight up would think I was way older than I actually was when they were hearing my voice. And some people would think I'm like fucking this super giant. Oh. I am not a six footer. Believe it or not. I know my voice might sound like it. I am not. I got uh, I got my height from my mother's side of the, of the family. <laughs> I didn't get it from my dad's side. My dad's side, everybody is tall. But the problem with that is uh, my dad is considered a runt of the family due to his height. So every man in his family is 6'5 and taller. Uh, my dad, on the other hand, is 6'1. So we did not catch any of the height. His sister's... Are ah! they're both tall as fuck too? They're both almost six foot. One is no, one is yeah no. Actually, one of them is six foot. One is one is five eleven. The other is six foot. So they were a family of giants. Dad was the only one who didn't come out tall though. What toe poses, man? That dog, dude. You know these photos gonna go on deviant though. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta please the people. You know where these is going. Can't even be surprised, dude. Like I said, I got this off of fucking Lover's Lab. What else would be in here? It's not gonna work on the bed though. She clipping like crazy. That's why I'm doing mostly uh, high seated poses. The beds, the cover on the bed is a lot taller than I thought it would be. We're going to have to take her back. Oh, well, actually, we're going to go into the uh, the library. Actually, yeah, let's do that right now. Let's take her to the library. This was good. But, oh, wait, no. Hold on. A few, uh, few of the alchemy room joints. Just some fancy poses going on right now. We've been doing this for a minute, though. Should I change her outfit? It'd be time to change her outfit, right? I only paired two, though. I'm enjoying myself, so I kind of want to do three. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, let's get a third outfit going. All righty. Let us go upstairs. Check the new swag, you know what I mean? Check the new fit. Hold on, look, check out the Jordan 4s. <laughs> I completely forgot I had this mod. I forgot about this dang Jordan mod. Fucking Jordan 4s on Skyrim, baby. <laughs> look at them jokes, them hoes clean. Them hoes clean. I forgot about that mod. I downloaded this so long ago. Like, probably like six months ago and completely forgot about it. I only used it once. Oh my goodness, with the pink Jordans on, dude. Uh, I'm probably not going to keep them on her. I just wanted to goof around with them. Uh, <laughs> her dang sandals disappeared. Got dog it. Got dog it. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. We got a nice little cool little semi-casual fit with the little belly chain. I had, I literally just got that. I realized she doesn't, I don't have enough jewelry. 
uh, mods, so I got a couple, uh, but those aren't going to be used for this episode or any episode because that's not the planned uh, last planned outfit I had. So, you know what I'm mean? saying? We're going to do a couple for this one though. I wanted to get some pictures for the upstairs. Let's make sure she got the pearly whites showing, and boom. Let's go ahead and put that back up to. 130 and what was this 115 reduce some of that gray it's gonna be a simple one you know what I'm saying not too much we're gonna have to scroll for the next 10 years so we shall be back all right had to change the top because on uh on second glance I realized her uh her nips were out and about just showing I didn't realize that the bra was mesh <laughs> so and uh, we had to change back over to the other sweater because uh, it fits this outfit quite nicely. Like she got her little silver and gold jewelry on. I mean, yeah, I, I did not realize that at all. I'm sitting here getting ready to hit the record button. And I'm like, wait a minute. Am I looking at what I think I'm looking at? And sure enough, I was indeed looking at what I thought I was looking at. That was uh, her, 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 her nip, her nipple for out and about. You know freely showing up already I did not realize that so I'm saying just a cool little casual outfit you know what I mean night on the town outfit feel me well I don't know about in this era I don't know if you'd be wearing this uh, in this era of time uh, maybe them oldest for sandals but <laughs> this outfit probably not definitely a modern day outfit right here sometimes it's all good I like, I don't mind having modern mods in the old style games. Adds a little bit more to the game, you know? Even if it isn't time period correct. At least that's how I see it. <laughs> I like having all kinds of fancy stuff. All right, except for the Jordan mods. I got that purely out of goofing around and then completely forgot about it. <laughs> I, did, I never in a million years would have expected someone to make a Jordan mod on fucking Skyrim. So I had to download it just for goofs. Just for goofs and gaffs. And completely forgot. And then as I'm looking through all the mods, I'm like, oh my goodness, is that the dang Jordan mod? Sure enough. I didn't know it had different colors though. When I used it at the time, it only let you use the... Oh no, that's right. My fool self. There was different colors. But because I barely used it, I forgot. No, yeah, there, there was always different colors. I remember now. I remember now. I didn't use the mod like that. I never really intended to use it that much. I just wanted to see some Jordans on Skyrim. Sure enough. Joints was clean as heart. But those are a little too modern. <laughs> you know, these clothes, yeah, they're pretty modern, but they don't stick out. The Jordans, though, them joints are sticking out like crazy. Now, I got them on Fallout, though. It's perfect for Fallout. It, you, you can't even bat an eye on Fallout. It's just like somehow, some way. Well, I guess you can, considering it's too far into the future. If it was 2077, then it would make sense for someone to still have a pair of Jordan 4s. But 2278, that's that's a, or 2287, that's a little too far up ahead of time. But it still works. It's Fallout. Odds like that in Fallout don't really they don't they don't look out of place nearly as much as Skyrim because with Skyrim it hasn't happened yet that's where with Fallout it has happened and somebody just so happened to have the cleanest pair of Jordan 4s left in 2287 is it realistic possibly I don't know yeah I mean I mean I guess I you could say it will be there's there's somebody right now probably with I don't know if they'd be pristine but probably a pair of shoes from like fucking <laughs> <laughs> was 200 years ago fucking 18 the 1800s that was a long time ago somebody still probably got a pair of pristine shoes from 18 uh 1824 and boom that's some serious collector prep right there i'm trying to i i need to i'm trying to get my money up because if y'all didn't know you about to know one of my all-time favorite things and something i absolutely want to collect in life but cost a lot of dang money is World War II guns. I fucking love. Oh yeah, World War One and World War II guns. I love old war guns. World War One, 
World War II, certain uh, 1800s guns like lever actions and lever action shotguns, um, Korean War guns, which are usually World War II and a couple of other little different guns that nobody ever heard of, uh, Vietnam era guns, oh my goodness, they're the best, they're the best, they're the best of all time. And, 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 and nothing beats them, right? Nothing beats them. I want a fucking massive collection of old World War II guns that I can just shoot and have fun with and take care of and baby like they're a dang child, you know? And fucking take super good care of them at all times. You know what I mean? Get an MP40, which is my favorite uh, World War II submachine gun. You know what I mean? That's gonna be my son, you know what I mean? That's gonna be my inanimate son before I have a, if I ever have a real son, you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be my inanimate son until then, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's gonna be my, that's gonna be my son right there. I mean, I'm gonna cherish my son. He spit nine millies, you feel me? Go to the dang, dang shooting ring and just be shooting. Love the MP40, that's my hands down favorite submachine gun from World War One, or World War Two. I mean. My favorite World War machine gun would go to the Browning M1919. That is my all-time favorite gun from World War One. World War One is the Browning M1919. World War Two is the MP40. Uh, Vietnam, I would say, is a close tie between. I would say the M60, the M14. And e, the Mac uh, 11, no, the Mac 10, because that was the bigger one, bigger one that shot the 45. Those three guns are some of my absolute favorite from the Vietnam era. I don't know which one I like the most. I honestly, I would say it's closer tie between the M60 and the Mac 10. The M the the, uh, the M14 is great, don't get me wrong, but it it ain't really in the same pool as the Mac and the in the M60. You feel me? It's just, it's just that, that, that those are two incredible guns. The thing with the Mac is, it's a little box that shoots a horrendously high rate of fire. Probably quite uncontrollable if you don't know what the fuck you're doing. You feel me? And, I mean, it's, it's a little box. It's a little box of fucking, it's a little rectangle of death. You feel me? That thing is a little monster. It's a little spitter. It, it, it's just magical. And then the M60, I mean, come on, it's the M60. It's an absolute powerhouse of a machine gun. It can't be no other way. M60, it's dusty as fuck up here. I just realized that. There's dust everywhere. All right, let's turn her around so we can more of this. Uh, more view on the backside here. I'm like she ain't moving because we did not unfreeze the game can't back her up too much or she'll fall off the bang ledge <laughs> hard to pull off but it has happened it happened before I started recording I was like the fuck where'd she go I look down she down there doing poses and crap fell off the bang uh, roof as tall as she is I well as tall as most people are you would have to be like fucking you would have to be like three feet tall for this to be not a hazard. That's a hazard. If you trip, you're done. You might fall and break your fucking neck, son. At, at, at red guard height, what are they like five ten? That's that's a hazard right there. A hazard waiting to happen. And then let's go ahead and put it this angle and ball. All right. Just a little last quick set and blow. Well, we're gonna go ahead and call it there, folks. This has been good fun. This was a great home, but it's time for me to render this video because it's getting late and I still kind of want to record some Fallout. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And uh, in the meantime, I'll hop on some Call of Duty while this is rendering. Hey, y'all, I'm gonna need you to do a couple of things. That is, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, like, share with your peoples, help me get to a thousand. It has been your boy, Jeton Legendary. If you enjoyed this video, that's good. If you didn't enjoy this video, that's good either way. You watched it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, notification bell, share with your people. Join Ledger Clan Sport to become legendary. Do not forget to download this gorgeous little home. Support the person that created this 
absolutely beautiful mod because I'm sure it wasn't something that they did within 20 minutes. I, I highly doubt that. I'm sure this took quite a bit of time. So, you know, support the lady. Or who was this person? I forget. <laughs> it's been a minute. We've been recording for a minute. I, I got a few mods on the list. Uh, support them. All right. I don't know who they are right now. I forgot. It's been a minute. <laughs> support them and all their hard work. Support your boy and all his hard work. That is me. Hey, yo. I'm out.